So we're filming, or we're um, celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Grapes of Wrath. And I'm going to read a brief passage, and then we're going to get to painting. Lead them around and around, said Joe. Sling them in the irrigation ditch. Tell them they'll burn in hell if they don't think like you. What the hell do you want to lead them someplace for? Just lead them. The straight trunk shade it stretched along the ground. Joe moved gratefully into it and squatted on his hands and made a new smooth place on which to draw his thoughts with a stick. A thick-furred yellow shepherd dog came trotting down the road, head low, tongue lolling and dripping. Its tail hung limply curled, and it panted loudly. Joe whistled at it, but it only dropped its head an inch and trotted fast towards some definite destination. Going someplace, Joe explained, a little peek. Going for home, maybe. Hi, I'm your host. Judy Gittleson, and welcome to Tuesdays with Emily. Welcome, Emily. Thank you, Judy. It's nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. Hi, I'm your host, Judy Gittleson, and welcome to Tuesdays with Emily. Hello, Emily. Hello, Judy. Welcome. Thank you. And do we have a little bit of news? Yes, we do. Um, the Palto um, Art Center has a new um, Exhibition. Exhibition called Pear, Pear, Peaches. Peaches on, on Trees with and Blue and Yellow, blue and yellow make green. green. And it's paintings from Art for Well Beings. And you're going to have some work in there, right? Yes. And uh, So I will be having my work in there, too. And I hope we're going to have a reception and we'll let you know the day of the reception. Today we're going to paint a word from Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, and Grapes of Wrath is celebrating its 75th year, and it's a fantastic book, and I love it, and I hope you all read it. And what word are you going to do? Burn. Burn. Because you, uh, Joe was talking about how he wanted to be a preacher, but he didn't know what to do, and Tom said, oh, why don't you just let him burn in hell, right? Yeah. So you're going to do the word burn, yes. and I'm going to do the yellow dog. I'm going to do about that. So are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go. to them because they're still in Georgia, they set 
each mother on a surprise dinner. Right. And so they didn't know who was going to be there. And it was just for them with gifts and their favorite foods wow. waiting for them. Isn't that wow, nice? That is Sounds so like nice. clean for a day. Yeah, awesome. but they said so that it inspires you. Yeah. And when you come back, you know what we're going to do that yeah. you can think about? Nadine, uh, making a book of Nadine's artwork called yeah. How to Be a Fine Young Woman. Yeah. And so we can do, we're going to do paintings of people being a fine young woman. Nice. Isn't that nice? That sounds wonderful. And by the way, if you hate to go to school. Which I do. You may grow up to be a mule. I don't. Are you done? Yeah. Let me um, do just a little bit more. Let me just catch up for a second. Okay, you can show yours and I'll catch up in a second. So tell maybe wow. about how well you're looking at the camera. And what does it feel like? Feels like hot. Yeah. You hurt. Ouch. Ooh. It's like you're burning. Wow. That's what the word burn is. Yeah. And burn is kind of like... it, um, like purple. Like kind of reddish because you're burning. And burning is like, you know, it's like the worst, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, like, it's painful. Oh, it's just the pain. Oh. And everybody can relate to that. You know, it's yeah. just like everybody can relate to what it feels like to go, oh, ow. Oh. Yeah. What's the opposite just for a little joyful ending so we don't end up burning hell? I know. What's a joyful um, opposite of that? What's the oh, best well, feeling? The joyful opposite of that is um, love. Oh. Love. Mm -hmm. Her word, that. That's better than burn. And what does it feel like to be loved? Feels good. Wait. A better, really good feeling inside. It's great. And how do you know you're loved? When people give me a hug. And I was really upset and you said to me, you are so loved. Yeah. And it made me feel so yes. good. And it's cool that you said that to me and that yeah. um, people can make each other feel so yeah. loved, huh? Now I'm going to show you mine and then you can talk about it to the audience. How about that? No, you, you can. Okay. What does it say? We can talk about it. Okay, what does it say? It's yellow dog. You want to hold yours up and then we'll say a goodbye? Yeah. So this is our tribute to the Grapes of Wrath, 50th anniversary. Not the 50th, the and 75th. We won't see you next week because we're skipping a week. Yeah. Because you're going on vacation. Yeah, but we'll see you the see you the following week. And happy painting. Happy painting. Well, well.